The OnePlus 7 Pro, the latest flagship killer, or maybe it's a killer flagship now, has finally arrived and is available exclusively on T-Mobile in the US, who was kind enough, by the way, to sponsor this video. But we'll get to why it being on T-Mobile is awesome in and of itself later. Now I've had enough time with the OnePlus 7 Pro to figure out my seven favorite features. And I figured I would share them with you guys for anyone out there that might be interested in buying it. First up, that screen. It might just be one of the best on the market. It's an OLED screen, which means that each individual pixel can be illuminated separately and even turned off to give you the blackest blacks and just an overall high contrast. It's pretty, for sure. On top of that, though, OnePlus also made it a native 90 hertz panel. That means that the screen can refresh the image on the display 90 times a second. What that translates to in the real world is super smooth transitions, scrolling, gaming, and just movement in general. It's something you subtly notice while using the device, but you sorely miss when you go use another device after. Speaking of smooth, OnePlus has always been known for optimizing the crap out of their software to produce some of the fastest performing phones on the market. If you ever looked up speed tests on YouTube, videos where people open the same apps on different phones and see how quickly each loads and performs, you'll be hard pressed to find any with a OnePlus in it that the OnePlus doesn't win it. This comes down to a combination of those software optimizations and the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor paired with eight gigs of RAM on the T-Mobile variant, which is just delightfully overkill, frankly. While we're on the subject of speed still, OnePlus took a feature off of their McLaren Edition 6T and they added it to the OnePlus 7 Pro, Warp Charge 30. Without getting too technical on how it works, the concept is that in addition to the charging brick being able to supply 30 watts of power, hence the 30 in the name, using higher amps and volts, it also has built-in circuitry that allows it to dissipate heat in the charging brick instead of your phone normally doing it and thus losing efficiency. Now this is interesting in that it means not only does it charge super fast, but it'll charge basically as fast even if you're using it while it's charging and it won't get hot. Another thing that has to be mentioned as a feature, because it kind of is a big deal, is that the OnePlus 7 Pro is exclusively available here in the US on T-Mobile. Now you always could get OnePlus devices online directly from OnePlus, but having a major US carrier behind the device definitely has its benefits. From the fact you can use T-Mobile's crazy fast network, having support for the device at any of their stores, and the ability to get $0 down and 0% financing for well-qualified buyers, in addition to being able to trade in devices to T-Mobile towards it, makes it that much easier to get. Something I was happy to see OnePlus add to the OnePlus 7 Pro is three rear cameras, each with different focal lengths. We have the option of an ultra-wide, a normal, and a three times telephoto camera, which I prefer to the two times on other devices since two times feels to me to just be a little too similar to the framing of the one times. Now I did my real world test of the OnePlus 7 Pro and compared it to other flagship devices, which you can check out at the link below. But I have to admit, it's the best camera that OnePlus has ever made. Speaking of cameras though, one of the other features that I'm slightly enamored with is the pop-up front-facing camera. I'm not one of my notches or punch holes, but it's a clever way of removing that for anyone who does. Also, because it can pop up, it can be a larger camera sensor, which should mean better selfies. I also love using it for face unlock and find it even faster than the in-screen fingerprint sensor. I kind of use that as a backup. And can we just talk for a second about the sound it makes? So good. Beyond the software optimizations that OnePlus does to Oxygen OS, their UI on top of Android to make it faster, they also make a bunch of changes to it that make it a lot more useful. It's very minimalistic and very close to whatever stock Android would be nowadays, but they've also added a bunch of little extras like a screen recording app, fanatic mode that boosts the processor, network connectivity, and the do not disturb when you wanna just game, parallel apps that let you use two accounts for social networks at the same time, like Snapchat, for example, etc. The last feature I really like about the OnePlus 7 Pro is the price. Now it happens to be the most expensive OnePlus device ever, but even still, it's a few hundred dollars cheaper than similarly specced phones. On T-Mobile, you can get it for just $699.99, and again, you can use that trade-in program and special financing offer too, making it one of the best phones you can probably get for the money. If you guys wanna learn more about the phone, head to your local T-Mobile store.
There you guys, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think about this video about the phone in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. Uh, and if you like the video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to check out the rest of my channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe and ding the bell next word subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. Also, there's a link below this video where you guys can sign up for my email newsletter. It goes out once a week. It's not annoying, I promise. Uh, and you can get tips and tricks and tech news and other things that don't necessarily make it here to video that are on my site. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.